composing gloves here and over the years brso articulate has had a bunch of updates and there have been a couple features that are amazingly useful that have been added i want to show you a couple of them and also just walk you through my preset making process and why i do it the way that i do because it is different than what most people would probably normally do so the first one is now when you're scrolling through the key switch and you leave you're still scrolling so i'm holding down my mouse you can push the keyboard and it will majestically switch to the note that you're pushing. You no longer need to scroll or try and type in numbers. This is fantastic. It makes modifying patches for whatever you're doing currently so much faster. Like this, this is just wildly cool. And the other thing he did that I was just like, this, this is amazing, is if you right click, you can go through the symbols now without the need to type in the number or scroll through and look for the symbol. Uh, so this this is a big deal to me. This is, oh my gosh. And it even renames them for you, which is also really, really great. Before you right click, you rename it. So that wasn't as big a deal, but it's freaking cool that he's automated a lot of this. There's a couple other things, like there's drag and drop for uh, NKI files by Spitfire and um, of his own proprietary file format. I never really got super into that, so I can't really explain it, but you could go check that out uh, in the patch notes. And there's also this thing called extended MIDI. If we go over, he also separated this out, which is really nice. But basically, you can use velocity switches in the piano roll now to extend your key switch abilities uh, drastically, up to like 64, I believe, is how many key switches you can have, which is great. But uh, it also says that it's not compatible with Contact 6, and that's uh, what I'm rolling with. So I'm just going to sort of ignore that, pretend it doesn't exist. And let's go ahead and really quick make a patch. So first off, I'm going to be making patches for the Spitfire Studio strings. And so I'm going to make them yellow. And so I'm just going to come in here. I'm going to choose a custom yellow because the yellow's in the palette they give you aren't very bright so i'm going to go into the, like the custom palette choose the second most yellow and go with that it has a cool i like how the text looks with it and we're going to go with violins violins and something unique to my patches this is the thing that is a bit different is when i push a midi key oh we're on default i'll have to show you here in a second we got to set up a couple and then i'll show you why mine are different so i'm actually going to skip the first one and the reason is when I push uh, MIDI channels, it's going to scroll through or not scroll through, but it's going to read the MIDI channel. This is not a note change command, even though it says it is up here. It's uh, also on a different channel and I have MIDI through engaged so I can um, play my patches in real time very smoothly by picking my key switches with the pads, which is just way more intuitive for me. I have a whole video on how to do that if you want to know. But for this reason, I skip the first channel and I go to the second one. So I sacrifice one spot for this. It's never really been that big of a deal. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to uh, choose the legato. So I'm going to come in here. Thankfully, Legato is near the beginning. I'm still getting my feet wet with knowing where everything is. There it is. And it changes it to Legato. And then the key switch is this first one. Let me make sure I'm on it. Cool. We're just going to move it, push the key. That is so beautiful. That is so much faster. Okay, cool. And next up, we're going to choose our next articulation, which is the long. So let's go ahead. Let's find long. And I like to make sure I get it the exact right symbol because there's a lot of symbols that could also work there it is at the very beginning names it and then we are simply going to move this and push it and bam we have our two key switches and now now i can show you when i push it doesn't want to doesn't want to show you huh what if i there we go i don't know what was behaving so strangely there but you know now i can switch between them with my two pads and what's great is this works off of midi channels so these key switches could be anywhere which is why i wanted it over midi channels it doesn't matter because this is going to read the, the midi channel information so this is kind of a really cool thing uh, that you can do with this <laughs> I had to do a reset because the MIDI keyboard was transmitting over channel three and I needed to transmit over channel one. I actually have no idea how it got to be like that, but that's why we left the first one blank. Also, to do it the way I'm doing it here, if you have the different MIDI channels all set up, then you need to come in and make sure MIDI channel three is on. And I like to lock mine. Whoops, I like to lock mine 
to the receive notes from the V25, just so that I know this is talking to that. The MIDI controller is talking to this a plugin. But anyways, uh, we can preview it now. Let's go ahead and hear our beautiful patch. It works exactly as expected. Hopefully this was insightful to you on how to very quickly get up and running with BRS Articulate. The updates are amazing. Thank you so much, Blake, for keeping this plugin alive and doing everything that you do. It is a free thing, so that is really, really awesome. If you're interested in learning how to play patches and preview them like I'm doing right now with these buttons, I have a whole separate video for that that I will link in the description because it is something that is an incredibly useful thing to be able to do. Just so you know, you do need a MIDI controller that can at the very minimum transmit stuff over different MIDI channels. And if it can't do that, you won't be able to do what I'm showing you here. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day.